Hey everybody, this is Leo. I know I usually don't get in front of a camera very often, but this is a momentous occasion. This here is my friend Jeff, handles Commit to Excel. Those astute viewers who were paying attention to my channel a couple weeks ago saw that we did a Rock Band 4 Road Crew video. Uh, it was an application for the Road Crew for Rock Band 4. We did successfully get picked for that, so we won. Uh, Jeff officially was the applicant, so he is a member of the Rock Band 4 Road Crew now. and. Much to our delight and surprise, we received our copy, or his copy, of the game about a week before street date. So we have it over here. We're going to perform an unboxing for you folks today. We're pretty pumped up about it, and there's some little side stories to go along with it. So, Jeff, by all means, do us the honors. All right. He did open the actual container to make sure it was, in fact, inside, but the game itself has not been touched. And he has the Xbox One version, like a jerk. Right. Well, if my DLC wasn't on the 360, I would have got the PS4. Ooh, very nice looking box. Pretty big. Spin it around. Um, Do we need something? It is definitely the 22 pounds like it says on the box. But I don't think we need it. You good? Yeah. Do we need a blade? No. We Maestro. Need a He's got man strength. We got it. <laughs> I'm just staying away because this is like a kid on Christmas morning. You can't really mess with this. So, while he's struggling with this, there is a second box we will be opening here shortly. Uh, there's some tape still on this side. Here, I'm just going to get into it with you here. There we go. One more at the bottom. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Should be good. Should slide right out. Oh god, an injury. Or you can just do that to it. Pretty sure the box is supposed to go a little bit nicer than this, but whatever. It's not sliding. No, it's not. Alright. Well, it's slid now. <laughs> Wonderful. So inside the very thoroughly destroyed exterior lies a calm white box of glory. Stop. Stop! What are we stopping? I don't know. It says stop. Something about the drum kit. If you experience any setup or mechanical problems with this product, do not return it to the retailer where it was purchased. Instead, contact Mad Cats for setup or other technical support. I swear, setups in quotes. We, uh, we, we didn't purchase it. Please note that this is for U.S. and Canadian support only. For international support, please use the contact details on the other side. Right. So yeah, we didn't purchase it, so I guess we're just out of luck. Yep. So first we have a small box. And an empty packaging box. And it said side small box is microphone. It's a lot heavier than the old microphone and longer as well. So it is. It feels balanced, like it a perfect blade. Set that over there. This is probably said guitar. One would hope. Indeed it is. Hey, we got another stop warning again. <laughs> Allow me to read the disclaimer for the people. Nah, it's literally the same thing. It looks like these each come with decals of some kind. Do you mind if I open this up? No, go ahead. So we've got manuals for how to utilize each instrument, it would appear. But then also, these super nifty Mad Cats decals. Whoa, buddy. Wow. I Whoa. will definitely not be using those. <laughs> well, that's good. I might have to take your man card if you did. Um, guitar? Yep. With the neck separate, or not the neck. That's how it came in the other ones. Yeah. The buttons appear to be a little different. Um, the, the front here is what I was noticing. And Not these, although these feel better. And the camera, you can still do the auto calibration on that thing. Nice. I noticed that when I opened it. Sweet. You do get a crappy pair of batteries, uh -huh. which you will not be using. And a guitar strap. 
Yay! Again, the thing I will never use. Right. But Jeff, and that's the important thing. Looks like we have the drums next. Uh huh. These look pretty much the same, although some of the ports on the back for the uh, symbols are a little different. Yeah. These are supposed to be a lot more reinforced than the Rock Band 2 and 3 drums. And that's kind of what I was trying to feel through the plastic is they definitely have a different feel to them. They'll be a little bit more responsive. We'll know shortly when we start getting videos up. And it's no longer three batteries. There is actually a USB, a mini USB port for updating the drums, which Harmonics and Mad Cats has said there's already an update for the Xbox One drums. Sweet. There's I'm not an update for the Xbox One guitar yet, but the PS4, little controversy on those, the only way to update the PS4 instruments is to die unboxing them. Right. Okay. But the only way to un the only way to do the PS4 updates is with a Bluetooth capable computer. Huh. So that seems oddly I don't know, short sighted. Right. I know mine is not Bluetooth capable, so I'm glad I have the Xbox One version. Mine is, so you would just have to send it over to my house. Kick pedal, which looks... The same? Yeah. Really? It works. We don't need to call that support. I just got more generic, empty packaging in here. Batteries. There's the drumsticks. All right. And these legs. Yeah. Ooh. Feel oh, good. Rock Band 4 monitored? Monitored? They, not monitored, just Rock Band, not oh. 4. So it's not specific. They didn't want these to feel, you know, segregated or left out from any other previous Rock Band experience. So I think we're missing one more thing. The actual game itself. Too, I will follow if you were talking about yep. Imagine Dragons. But there's cake, and that's not a lie. <laughs> sure isn't. All right. Now, the follow up package that we have that's a little bit of a bonus. Uh, so, Jeff here was advising me or making me privy to a situation that happened. When the package shipped yesterday, he was all excited because he got the 22 pound box that we just opened and then some mystery five pound package that nobody on the, the road crew forum seemed to know what it was. So some people started getting theirs early um, and they determined it's a second guitar, which we all thought, hey, that makes sense. We're on the road crew, you know, you're supposed to get a full set of instruments. So Jeff, in his childlike excitement this morning, went down to the FedEx sorting facility and picked up the boxes early because they were scheduled to get shipped here tomorrow. As luck would have it, Rock Band, or Harmonix, sorry, issued a recall to all FedEx to get that second package back as soon as they could because it was not supposed to be sent out to the public. So those of us who got them, we get to keep them. No one's going to come knocking on our doors, sending police after us. But... If he had not gone early this morning before work or early into his shift at work to pick it up, we would not have this second guitar. So go ahead and uh, get this. So many people on the forums, and you can confirm this, were devastated when they went to go pick theirs up after the notice came out, and FedEx was not allowing them to take their packages home. They literally got to see it just two feet in front of their faces and not actually get it. So, so what this actually is, it looks like it's actually the guitar bundle. With the game. But... From reading the forums, it sounds like they took the game out of it and it was just shipping this by itself. Okay, well, we'll see. That is interesting. Get out of here, useless garbage. And the, if you can see, the game is not in the box. It would be right here, yep. slid in through the packing hole part of it. Still though, the second guitar itself is a huge value. One that we are going to put to great use. The, one of the main differences in the second guitar, the reason why I wanted one is because they took the ball bearing out of the um, star power. Right, for the overdrive. For the overdrive. So, so now it's an accelerometer. 
Right, just right. like in your phone. So all you have to do is, when you tilt, it'll be a lot more responsive rather than waiting for a mechanical unit to drop into a uh, crevice or whatever it was. So there's guitar number two. Sweet. I hereby dub thee mine. For those of the Rock Band crew members that didn't get one, yeah, sorry about your luck on yeah. that. If this guy wasn't so anal retentive, we would be in the same position. Why am I failing? There we go. So that's pretty much the unboxing. Indeed? Indeed it is. Ooh, I like the feel of it. <laughs> this guy. You um, like the curves of the body? Yeah. He likes the curves of the body. The, the new difference on the guitars and the drums is that it only does take two batteries this time instead of the three, so a little bit more energy efficient. Chewing through the batteries as much, which is nice. They do feel a little bit more, a little bit better put together though. Yep, I was gonna say they feel so. a little durable. The buttons feel like they're gonna be a little bit more responsive. So we shall see. This was the grand unboxing. We should have content up in video form here, hopefully within the next couple of days, ideally. So we'll get on that and try to get as much pre-release content out to the public as we possibly can. Yep. Anything else you want to add, Jeff? You want to do a little girl scream for us? Nope. Curtsy? Rock on. <laughs>